cool technology that was in Star Trek was the food replicators. So you'd go down to the cafeteria and push a button and it would create just about any food that you could think of in a matter of a couple seconds. Well, we're getting close to that as well. 3D printing technology is coming onto the market that will print your food. You can print your own pizza in a matter of minutes, right? Who needs Domino's? Who needs Pizza Hut? You got a 3D printer that'll print a pizza for you in a matter of minutes. You can print chocolate, and not just simple chocolate bars, but really elegant design chocolate that you might want to use for decorations. Even companies like Hershey have announced that they're looking into 3D printers as a means of replacing their existing production systems uh, for chocolate. Now, probably a little less appetizing, but uh, people experimenting with it anyway, is 3D printers that'll make meat for you. But as 3D printers become more and more popular, uh, it's, it's easy to imagine that within the next 10 years, just about anything you can think of will be 3D printed. As more people start to use these printers, you've seen more and more different applications of them. So um, here's some interesting examples. Uh, this company called Irby that put together a car made of parts largely comprised from 3D printers and drove it halfway across the country. In Japan, they're experimenting with 3D scanners, so they go to a crime scene like a murder, and they scan all the surroundings into a 3D scanner, and they go back to the lab, and it will print automatically a replica of what that crime scene looked like, so they can continue their forensic analysis, or they can use it in a courtroom when they actually have a trial. Paleontologists are starting to use 3D printers to reproduce dinosaur bones. These are in short supply, right? If you need one to display or you want to do some research or analysis on it, moving these dinosaur bones is pretty fragile. So you can scan them in and just print them out. There's even some students at an architecture school that are trying to use a 3D printer to replicate an ice resort. And of course, it's not just adults that are having fun with this. There's now a Play-Doh 3D printer, which is kind of ironic because I tend to think of Play-Doh is actually the original 3D printer. They're even talking about being able to print a moon base using 3D printers. So what's one of the biggest problems with getting stuff up to the moon to colonize it? Would be transporting all the equipment and all the people back and forth. I mean, how many rockets and spaceships would you have to take to get the infrastructure up there to do it? Why not just send a couple robots and printers? And they can use the, the rocks and the, the dirt and the naturally occurring minerals on the moon to produce the infrastructure on demand. 